to the love of the Lord throughout at this afternoon hour, and good day to you as both of our networks chime in, and hallelujah, praise the Lord. Jesus is coming back, faithful and true, will his name be ringing out. And again, we are, on behalf of Anita Hewitt, who is getting healed and well, and soon to be joining us this coming Saturday, 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, so adjust your time frames wherever you are, as she will be sharing, wrapping up her so much she's sharing a to the topics of nuggets from heaven. So each and every day and each and every time she will be broadcasting this, she'll be coming to you, ramping this up, and then uh, just loving the Lord, and then I'll be coming on around 11.15, 11.20, doing uh, the other half-hour service. But again, 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time this Saturday, my beautiful, talented, anointed wife, Anita Hewitt, comes back preaching and teaching from nuggets from heaven and stomping, of course, on the head of Satan right before you. In Jesus' name. We often hear of Malachi. It's the last book of the Old Testament before we spring into the grace of the life of Jesus Christ. And we are going to be starting um, a brief series here at the afternoon hour of Malachi. And, uh, and that was one of my first TV programs to those up in Canada called the Malachi Report that we did over the Miracle Network, if I remember, got my name here correctly, and I went throughout the entire nation of the country that taught me what love is all about, in Jesus' name. So, we are going to be speaking of, going into uh, our foundation scripture will be Malachi chapter 3 verse 1. And we'll, of course, be t doing some some minor tap dancing today through the scriptures. So let's let a clean notebook paper, put our fingers in chapter 3 of Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, right before Matthew. And let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you. You are the reasons why we live from the secrets of our heart. We love you for the strength and healing that you brought to this ministry, this household, by the healing and the deliverance of my wife. I ask you to, th to continue with the healing and, and the perfection upon her. For as Anita Hewitt prepares to come before your people this coming Saturday morning, afternoon, our time here in Los Angeles, California. We thank you for the strength of teaching us how to forgive, to repent, to pray. So you can pour your new mercy upon us of this day. To, uh, and to bless us and guide us with your wisdom and discernment as we cry unto you. That we want to know ever more every day stronger than we knew you yesterday. For you are the God of the now, the faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We thank you in all the Master's name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We love thee. Brethren, Jesus loves you. We love you. And if you want to get to know more about the Morningstar Communications Network, a 501c3 certified church here in the United States, come visit us, please, at bryantewood.com. bryantewood.com. So, we should all know where Malachi is. The last chapter of the Old Testament, right before Matthew. Let's go to chapter 3, of verse 1. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to, to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. Malachi, which means my messenger, with the aid of the prophetic ministries of Haggai and Zechariah, the temple was, was rebuilt. And with his name, my messenger, Malachi brings us to the brief chapters of his life and certainly was the messenger of God. And Malachi was attacked, attacked the spiritual moral decay that was prevalent in that world, and guess what? It's still prevalent in today's world. My wife and I attack it by the love of Jesus Christ. 
among both the priests and people like Jesus did and as we do, known as the, the dialect method of speaking, making a charge, raising potential objections, and then refuting them, which later became common in Jewish schools and synagogues. We shall consider several examples as we speak this afternoon of the style of teaching as we move through these first few chapters of Malachi. Yet, in this period of life, before Christ was physically born, they were doubting God's love. They were questioning God's love for them. After the years of captivity, one might understand why they felt this way. What way the return from Babylon captivity was not without difficulty. God reasserts his love for Israel. Note in verse 1, chapter 1, of verse 2 of Malachi, I have loved you, says the Lord. Yet you say, In what way have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord? Yet Jacob I have loved. I have loved you, says God to you. In what way have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Yet Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. God is speaking for, of Jacob and Esau as a representative of their descendant nations. God did not hate Esau personally, but did hate what Edom as a nation had become. He, do, he goes on to illustrate what he means. Edom, the descendant of Esau, has become desolate, despite their claims to the country, to what it would remain desolate. In what, chapter 1, 3, and 4, Esau I have hated, but Esau I have hated. I laid waste his mountains and his heritage for the jackals of the wilderness, even though Edom has said we have been impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they may build. They may build. But I will throw down, they will be called the territory of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord will have indignation forever. And Jeremiah 49, verse 18. As the overthrown of Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighbors, says the Lord, no one shall remain there, nor, nor shall a son of man dwell in it. And we move into honoring the Lord thy God, thy Son, Jesus Christ. We move into the capture and the reality of God's truth and His love. For they were dishonoring God's name by offering blemished sacrifices in verses 6 through 11 of chapter 1. The Old Testament gives us the questions and the New Testament gives us the answers. They were polluted offerings. A, son's, a son honors his father, a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? I'm speaking of verse 1, chapter 1, verses 6 through 11 of Malachi. Where is my honor? And I am a master. Where is my reverence, says the Lord of hosts? To you priests who despise my name, yet you say, In what way have we despised your name? You offer defiled food on my altar, but say, In what way have we defiled you? By saying, The table of the Lord is contemptible. When you offer the blind as a sacrifice, it is not evil. When you offer the lame and sick, it is not evil. Offer then to your governor. Would he be pleased with you? Would he accept you favorably? Says the Lord of hosts. But now entreat God's favor, that he may be gracious to us. While this is being done by your hands, he will accept you very favorably, says the Lord of hosts. Who is then even among you who would shut the doors, so that you would not kindle fire on my altar in vain? I have no pleasure in you, says the Lord of hosts. Nor will I accept an offering from your hands. From the rising of the sun even to its going down, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. 
Isaiah 66, 18 sings out loud from this piece of scripture of Malachi. For I know their, th their works and their thoughts. It shall be that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. As Isaiah 66, verse 18. The prophetic canon was all about the honor of God. It set the stage. It gave everyone an opportunity during that period of the Old Testament, the power to wait on the Lord. Abraham, the father of many nations, the father of faith, was that example, is that example even today. Yeah, the power as these people went from the bondage, God's people went from their bondage, went from the deliverance of in, this, in the wilderness for 70 years. And that everyone came into agreement, and we must come into agreement with the love of God. We lift up Syria. We lift up nations that are going through poverty. We lift up every city that's coming close to Sodom and Gomorrah. We represent, we lift up all of Kenya and Africa, the sub saharan region, which is which is going through its overwhelming picture of malnourishment, starvation. We cannot lift up blemish sacrifices as we, as we just expressed in First chap Malachi chapter 1, 6 through 11. Sons honored their fathers and servants their masters, but they were despising God. When asked in what way they are told of their defiled sacrifices, they were offering to God what they would be embarrassed to offer men. So I'm not going to give it to my father, but I'm going to give it to God. They were offering to God what they, what they again, would be embarrassed to offer men. The Lord would not even wish that someone would shut the door so they could not sacrifice. Despite their dishonor, one day God's name would be great even among the Gentiles by offering half-hearted worship. This also, they also were profaning God's name by saying his service is contentable and weariness. Those who continue to bring blemish sacrifice would fall under God's curse. For he is a great king. Okay, let's go stay in chapter 1 of Malachi. Go to 12 and verses 12 and 4. But you profane it, and that you say, The table of the Lord is defiled, and the fruit is his food is contemptible. You also say, and what a weariness, and you snare at it, says the Lord of hosts, and you bring the stolen, the lame, and the sick, thus you bring an offering. Should I accept this from your hand, says the Lord, be, but curse me, the deceiver, who has his flock of male, and takes a vow, but sacrifice to the Lord who is blemished, for I am a great king, says the, the Lord of hosts, and my name is to be feared among the nations. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 47, verse 2 it brings an accent of this piece of scripture in Malachi. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. Over all, all the earth. Isaiah 43, verse 22. Pleading with unfaithful Israel. But you have not called upon me, O Jacob, and you have been wary of me, O Israel. Isaiah 43, verse 22. Yet, Israel has moved into a deeper picture in today's world. We pay for the peace of Jerusalem. Those that do so prosper. Israel cannot be destroyed. Israel cannot be defeated. So, humorous, O oh, Prime Minister of Iran, the, you curse your own destruction when you curse Israel. In Jesus' name, I say that to you, out there for you. Such corruption will not go unanswered. Addressing the priest directly, the nature of God's curse is graphically depicted. Because they had failed to live up to what was expected of God's priest, 
he will make them base and contemptible. Malachi chapter 2, 1 through 9. And now, O priests, his commandments is for you. If you will not hear, if you will not take it to heart to give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yes, I have cursed them already, because you do not take it to heart. Behold, I will rebuke your descendants and spread re refuse on your faces and refuse of your solemn feast. One will take you away with it. Then you shall know that I have sent this commandment to you, that my covenant with Levi may continue, says the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him, one life and peace, and I gave them to him that he might fear me. So he feared me and was reverent before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth and injustice was not found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity, and turned many away from iniquity. For the lips of a priest should keep knowledge, and people should seek the law from his mouth. For he is a messenger of the Lord of hosts. But you have departed from the way you have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore I also have made you a contemptible and base before all the people, because you have not kept my ways, but I but have shown partiality in the law. In Jesus' name. That was Malachi chapter two, one through nine. We go into a new life from let's say despising God rejecting God, not knowing which way to turn, moving into the embrace of Jesus Christ. We take a step forward and knowing, knowing that God is faithful and true. Bringing into this relationship to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ. Again, to remind our skilled Christian viewing audience, you've been saved for some time, or still a newbie in Christ, getting yourself fed into a faith-based, spirit-led church, we ask you to bring two to three unsaved friends to the broadcast, you know, at least once a week, bring two to three friends, go over the 900 broadcasts that my wife and I have done. We have not, isn't that our message, this is God's message. And we w want you to have your friends, your unsafe friends, feel the inheritance of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be redeemed together as a family, one mind and one judgment of Christ. We are of this footstool called earth, a family. As we reach up to the heavens and say, Lord, take us, love us for yours. Let's get rapture ready together. Let's share in the victory and do a high five together by getting into the word of God by knowing that we've already won the war, the battle. Yet we do not have to inflict pain or injury or blood. Inflicting blood or injury or threats is not God's game. It's not God's way. That's the ways of man, that's the devil's way, not God's way. We get back to the enemy by forgiving them, by driving them totally insane by having them climb up the own wall and hang themselves by their own sins, by loving them and forgiving them, but moving on with our lives without them, but by being a magnet and love and affection of Jesus Christ. Romans 10.13 sings loud to you, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, that is you, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Your harvest is white. Your harvest is now. Dear God. Repeat this after me, please. Dear God. I am a, I am a sinner. And I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. 
I commit myself to you. And I ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control. And to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Father, for bringing me forward. Thank you for bringing, loving me, oh Jesus. That's my wife. Praising your name in the, in the background. I am your lifting your names up before the throne of God. But most important, in front of the throne of God. In front of the throne of God. As God's very own angels. Singing your name. As you have become born again. We thank you for the truth of your love. We thank you for the inheritance that you've given to each and every one of us. For the inheritance of the Lord Jesus Christ gives us the time frame to lift up our first offering, which is the offering of obedience, by getting ourselves into a faith-based, spirit-led church. Midweek Bible study, Sunday services of the saints. <clears throat> and to come throughout the world in Jesus' name. We no longer are defiling God. We are now a one mind and one judgment of Christ. We have removed the yoke of bondage of sin and now have the baptismal of the blood of Calvary all over us. Anita Hewitt and myself, Brian Hewitt, we invite you to become a financial partner to our ministries. As you plant your seed into this, minis into this ministry, this God's organization, you will see God will give you a vision, and that vision is your harvest is now. Again, we are a 501c certified church here in the United States. We go forward in the matchless name of Jesus by bringing all in all the matchless name of Jesus. By bringing all in all the matchless time frame of God's love, God's truth. His truth shall set us all free. By bringing into the capture of the reality that as we see that the harvest is now, we plant our seed into this ministry so that we hear from the living word of God. The living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And then the windows of heaven will open up above us. Blessings will pour down all upon us as a return on an investment will give us blessings upon blessings. That will have no room in our storehouses to store them, to plant them, to keep them. In Jesus' name. We thank you for prayers and support ahead of time. You can send your offering through our website at BrianTewood.com by clicking on the offering link. Again, or send us a check through our contact link. To more, uh, and we can write that payable to Morningstar Communication Network or slash MCM Ministries. Again, we are 501c3 certified church. Here in the United States, we thank you for your, your truth, your love, your support. In Jesus' name. We have learned from Malachi that, as verse 111 expresses, but let me get to that in a moment, that we cannot live in a life showing signs of spiritual moral decay, failing to appreciate God's love for all, dishonoring God by offering a second best and half-hearted worship, profaning God's covenant by dis disregarding it and their wives. It is easy for Christians to make application with such verses. As spiritual priests we are to offer spiritual sacrifices. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who are called you out of darkness into, and into a marvelous light. <clears throat> Romans 12, 1 and 2, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. Who? Oh! But be transformed by the 
renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In Jesus' name. For from the rising of the sun even to its going down my name, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and every place incense shall be offered to my, to my name, and pure offering for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Malachi chapter 1, verse 11. We sing of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the holy nation, the nations of your heart and soul, God is bringing that change to you right now. In Jesus' name. Lord, take us, love us, we're yours. <clears throat> Bring us to your mountaintop. Bring us to your valleys. We thank you, O Lord, for this time, your endless frame of God's love. Bring us to your now of faith. Bring us, O God, to the everlasting truth. How your truth sets us all free. The freedom, spelled L-O-V-E, love. In Jesus' name. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this afternoon message of the beginning series of Malachi. We sing forward of the verses that once was of disgracing God, but now praising and raising the praise to you, O Lord. We sing of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. We sing of the glory of his name, of your name. For we are of the royal priesthood, a holy nation, of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for the strength and lifting up our forgiveness, our repentance, and our prayers daily. So we can pour your new mercy upon us every day. We thank you for the overflowing of wisdom and discernment. As we cry unto you, that we want to know you ever some more every day, stronger than we knew you yesterday, so we can have a full life of honor and not having the end of our life in disgrace like Solomon had. We thank you for your time. The endless flame of your love which gives us that depth of love, the depth in our new hearts, hearts which is a mirror of your empty tomb. That life, the endless river of love, of wisdom, leads us to the road of grace, leads us to the straight and narrow. Men are called if you are chosen. We no longer need just converts who are just believers. We need just disciples. In the Master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, good afternoon, good day to you, good evening. We thank you for joining us on the afternoon broadcast here from Morningstar Communications Network, live here from Los Angeles, California, on behalf of my anointed wife, beautiful wife, Anita Hewitt, and myself, Brian Hewitt, the man. We thank you for your time. Until next time. Do stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianChewitt.com. BrianChewitt.com. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios. Good day for the people.